Good morning. My name is Lily Gray. I'm the Community Development Administrator here with the City of Jacksonville. And on behalf of Mayor Sammy Phillips, members of City Council, Dr. Richard Wolf Woodruff, and members of our Community Development Advisory Committee, we welcome you here today as we celebrate National Community Development, Development Week. You're going to hear a lot of, the, of information on what has been accomplished as a result of the Community Development Block Grant Program. But what I would like to do at this time is just thank all of our city staff and our partners who have helped us to realize these accomplishments. This is something that we could not do alone. For example, we have our streets department here today. They are critical to helping us tear down dilapidated structures such as what you see behind us. We also partner with the Jacksonville Fire Department who help us in our live fire training exercises. So I'd like to thank um, Chief Yanero for his support of the program. And as you may not know, it was his idea and his uh, team support that are why we're here today. This was a high crime uh, area and he partnered with community development, reached out to us to see what we can do. And here we are several years later with a reformed community. Also like to thank Wally Hansen and the Public Services Department and Danny Bryan in his absence with our Building Inspections Department and our very own Gary Ouellette with our uh, Code Enforcement Office. There are so many team members that help make what we do possible. And on this time, at this time, I just want to say thank you. And I'm missing one. Uh, Anthony Prince, our transportation coordinator. It's, it is a collaborative effort across multiple departments, and we could not do what we do without their support. And I want to thank you as citizens for always supporting us in what we do. And those who partake of the program, we just thank you all for your support as we celebrate National Community Development Week. At this time, I'd like to bring forth Dr. Wilbert Artis, who is going to bring our invocation. Let us pray. Creator and sustainer of all, accept our thanks for this day and all its blessings. We ask that you guide and direct us all by the light of your truth, our leaders, our citizens, and our community. Grant that each of us may feel responsibility to our community, to our country, and indeed to you. We pray that we are ever mindful of the opportunity to render our service to our fellow citizens, our community, and that we remain focused on objectives, peace, tranquility, and kindness. By your grace, we affirm our commitment with opticism and renewed energy that focuses on service to you and to the men, women, and children of the city of Jacksonville. Bless our fellowship today and let us continue to strive to make our community a better place. In your beloved name we pray, amen. Good morning. I'm Gloria Whitney, your chairperson for Community Development Advisory Committee. Welcome. We're honored to have you here to welcome, I mean, to enjoy with us today and celebrate National Community Advisory Week. For the past 43 years, Community Development Block Grant CDBG, funding from HUD, has had a positive impact throughout the city of Jacksonville, especially here in the downtown area, as you can see. The purpose of the community development is to ensure a better quality of life for all of its citizens. And to achieve this, community development fosters economic development and offer programs to revitalize the community. Beneficiaries served by CGB program in the past years include seniors, homeless persons, veterans, working family, at-risk youth, business owners, disabled persons, and the first-time home buyers. Thank you all for being here today, and this is the first time for me. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day we have today, and the weather's holding out just for us, I believe. On behalf of Mayor Phillips and Jacksonville City Council, I would like to welcome all of you this morning at this special observance to mark the 100th demolition under our Clean and Green program. I am honored to be able to speak to you about the contributions to the community development block grant program and what it has made to help clean this clean and green program 
in our city. It has worked across the nation to help cities such as Jacksonville to address the physical and economic conditions of our community. Jacksonville's Community Development Division has entered into a number of local partnerships to accomplish its goals. I stress partnerships because as federal funding continues to decrease, our need for partnerships continues to increase. Through partnerships, the city has been able to leverage dollars with other funding sources and accomplish more with such as what has been accomplished here in our downtown Jacksonville. Since 2010, the City of Jacksonville's Clean and Green Initiative has spurred a renewed interest in improving the overall appearance of the city. Landscaping improvements and elimination of dilapidated structures have been at the forefront of the efforts to beautify our city. Today we stand before 121 and 121 and a half Poplar Street. These structures symbolize the tearing down of the old and the rebuilding of what makes our neighborhoods great. With today's demolition of these structures, the city will have demolished 100 dilapidated structures in the city of Jacksonville using a combination of community development block grant funds and the city resources, such as our streets division and fire department. This neighborhood has been revitalized. Today, we also celebrate the success of our downtown housing initiative, which is a public-private partnership with local builders. Through this cooperative effort, local builders agreed to leverage private funding to build new affordable homes on city-owned lots with houses designed to city design standards. Home buyers qualified with a mortgage with a lender and received down payment assistance from the city's down payment assistance program. In addition to encourage interest in the newly revitalized area, the cost of city owned lots is forgiven if the home is occupied for 10 years. This helps bring people to our downtown. These partnerships help build new affordable homes in blighted areas of the city, contributing to our revitalization efforts and improving on our tax base. And before we get started on the demolition of our 100 structures, I want to personally thank our city team on behalf of Mayor Phillips and the Jacksonville City Council. We could have not done it without the full team's effort an effort to make our downtown a better place to live, raise children, and look to our future. We've got rid of the old and bringing in the new. So without further ado, we'll move to our 100th demolition. So please join us. Thank you very much.
here to present a brief to one of our new uh, members of the community through our affordable housing program. It's a particular pleasure, pleasure for me to do this this morning because I'm from this community and I've seen what a difference our affordable housing program and our demolition effort has made. I'd like to thank Dr. Woodruff, who's not here today, for his vision because he's responsible for making a lot of this come through. It's his clean, clean, green and clean program. And as you can see behind me, this reflects a teamwork effort um, from our attorney to my co-counsel, um, Mr. Randy Thomas, a fellow member of Jacksonville City Council, um, our community development team, our volunteers that work so hard to help us and in particular with the Community Development Program because it's a federally funded and scrutinized program. There's a lot of details that we have to pay attention to, and a lot of protocol, and part of that is the contribution that our community development um, team makes, our volunteers from the community. Um, Ms. Lily Gray directs that department, and she is assisted by um, the very talented Ms. Tracy Jackson, who is often the liaison between our new homeowners and the program, helping them along with what they need to satisfy the requirements that we have. So um, thank you all for coming. This is a um, real honor, and I emphasize that we've been able to do our program without the gentrification side effects that a lot of communities have suffered when they try to um, revitalize. The people that live here and have lived here historically have been able to take advantage of, uh, some of them have been able to take advantage of the affordable housing program and we haven't seen any um, gentrification to speak of, so that's a good thing. I'm honored to speak to you as we celebrate National Community Development Week for the past 43 years Community Development Block Grant Program has been a valuable resource to our city. Through our downtown housing initiative, it has also been our goal to show others that they can, too, accomplish the American dream of home ownership. In addition to council members, we have in our presence the representatives from the builders. We have Mr. Simenderes yes. right here, and he's done a wonderful job, as you can see. And, um, I've received the reports as, uh, about how accommodating and, and hardworking he's been with our program. And that's Emmanuel and Nick Simenderis of um, Adelphi Construction. Our lender was here, Ms. Susan Madison, and um, she too congratulates. Well, she knows the homeowners well and she's worked well with them to um, secure mortgages. We also have with us the latest proud homeowners who benefited from the aforementioned partnerships. And Ms. Briscoe is going to come forward and receive the wreath. Okay, so <laughs> I really welcome you to this community. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. It's a wonderful community. It's a vibrant community that we are building, and you get to participate on the ground level of that building. So thank you uh, and your family. I want to say I am so proud um, having done this work for 17 years this is my favorite part seeing the new homes built and the homeowners purchase their new home I hear the stories I know the struggles I know the sacrifices that you and the others have made and it just does my heart good to see them set a goal and achieve it and then we can stand here today and celebrate with them so welcome to the day thank you 